Hi everyone. It is April 24, 2019. We have an awful lot going on. It is overwhelming. I never know what to post anymore. What is the most important thing happening? Well, for me, the most important thing that is happening are those uh, happenings that affect people directly. So I'm going to be getting into uh, what is happening in Texas, particularly with our weather. But first, I want to thank all of you from High Impact Flicks. Brian, thank you. Um, I sure did get an awful lot who have said that they have been sent by you. Um, so I want to welcome all of the new subscribers. I do want to warn you, my videos are not polished. Brian, actually, uh, who I want to say that I really, uh, there's few I respect at this point after being on YouTube for eight years. Few I respect, and Brian is one of them. And he was so generous when my original channel went down, and he reached out to me asking if he could help in any way, and then he reached out <laughs> asking um, or giving me advice on a particular program where I could make my videos, you know, better. But, uh, yeah, I will tell you that I'm one of the destroyed. I am one of the destroyed here in the United States. We have millions upon millions upon millions of Americans who have already gone over the cliff. So when you hear people talk about that great event, you know, the shit that hits the fan, the shit has been hitting the fan for millions upon millions upon millions of Americans, and it continues right to this very word I am speaking. People are losing their homes. People are losing their health, and people are dying. Yeah, we have an awful lot of people dying. So the depopulation agenda um, has been quite successful already. Um, the weather warfare is still causing an awful lot of destruction. And I have to tell you, all of those who have subscribed coming from high impact flicks, um, you will hear not a reporter. I did not come on YouTube to report, to become a YouTube star, to, uh, to be anything but what I am. Very concerned about what is taking place. And having been destroyed by evil already, I know what it's about. I know it has no limits. Um, and yeah, I am not somebody who can hold back my feelings about what is taking place in our country. So uh, some of you may decide you don't want to be hearing that. Uh, some of you maybe a lot of you will get pissed off at things that I say. Um, I have a very hard time with holding my opinions and commentary about what is taking place in our world, in our country. Um, I have no doubt that many of you will be pissed off because I do post videos on the personal because there's a very um, everything is connected so how we live our life individually matters and I do go into that not a lot of people like hearing that part of the truth you know so if you are about the truth you're not selective you're about your own truth and about the collective truth. Getting the information about what is happening to us collectively, but also taking a look at your own behavior, your own 
uh, how you live your life. And, um, you know, we, we do need to do the work to get ourselves as, uh, as right as we possibly can because it matters in the bigger picture. You know, we all have contributed to this incredible, dark nightmare that we are living. And now it is our responsibility to contribute to, to goodness, to trust, you know, making sure we don't lie, making sure we understand that it's very important what we say in the comment section, that we don't um, say things that we can't back up with evidence. In other words, saying things about other channels. Um, that we are, that we do the work necessary to make ourselves self-aware that we are aware of our behavior and we are aware of our speech and everything goes towards truth that we speak honestly and live honestly and individuals of course in the aggregate if they were doing that work they would be manifesting something very different than what has manifested Okay, so I may have already pissed some of you off, um, but I am not here to make friends, and I am not here uh, to be popular. I, I can only speak the truth as best as I know it. So, with that being said, I got a comment from a subscriber who uh, sent me to this blog and I believe it's a blog of my subscriber. I love seeing people taking action so thank me, uh, thank me, sorry, thank you um, for sending me here. Weather disasters, take three. Hurricane Katrina, New Orleans August 2005, Hurricane Ike, Galveston, September 2008. Tornado, unnamed, undocumented, by local news, rural East Texas, April 2019. Another severe storm expected tonight. A month of tornadoes through our region, which we chose precisely because it was north of Hurricane Zone and south of Tornado Alley. Not anymore. Yeah, when man is controlling the weather, they can bring flooding to non-flood zones. They can bring tornadoes anywhere they want. And wow, we're seeing now land okanes or bomb cyclones. Right. Um, I'm still at a loss for words, but don't worry, not for long. Let's... Uh, let the photos speak for themselves for now. East Texas is being weather bombed while the local news sugarcoats and bypasses. Uh, consider me pissed off. We need to get pissed off. Anger motivates as long as it's directed, um, directed in a in a healthy manner. So these are the trees. Look at the trees. Now, I've said this in recent videos that I posted. I don't believe what we are seeing are tornadoes, though I will show you some film of a tornado that took place um, in Texas. Yes, they can create tornadoes, so uh, for anyone who does not have um, any background on weather modification, I have playlists. I have weather modification playlists, I have geoengineering playlists. So you can check those playlists out. Um, but here, 
oh my god, look at what they did to your trees. We started to get rain, the planes came and took it away. Okay, trees, trees. What we are seeing are trees toppling over even with a little bit of wind now because our trees are so sick and so weak that they cannot withstand even slight wind. I have witnessed that in Anderson, South Carolina, where I was amazed because the winds were not so great. We did get, you know, some storm and it rained. And then I would be driving out, uh, driving around, and I would see so many trees down. Well, what also did I see? The trees were hollowed out. They had fungal disease all over the trees. So, <clears throat> yeah, trees dying. A quiet crisis playing out in U.S. forests as huge numbers of trees succumb to drought, disease, insects, and wildfire. Much of it driven by climate change. Of course, climate change. I will link below to everything, but if you just do trees around the country are dying, and I misspelled that, um, you will come across an awful lot of articles. An American tragedy. Why are millions of trees dying across the country? America's trees are dying, die off. Millions of trees are dying across the U.S. Truth out. Yeah, truth out. Um, well, Climate change is what truth out. Yeah, it, it's remarkable. Does no one see what is being sprayed in the atmosphere? All of the barium, the aluminum, the strontium, the lithium. Okay, well, we see it and we know it. And we know what all of these chemicals and heavy metals are doing to our trees, killing them. Why am I seeing so many areas of dead trees around the state? Are Michigan trees in trouble? Across America, apple trees are mysteriously dying. Scientists just, it's a mystery, they don't know. Apple trees are mysteriously dying. Dying trees all over the place. So, um, I want to recommend Chemtrail Planet if you don't know this site, I hope that you come over and bookmark this site. Uh, I'm going to show you this one site has a tremendous amount of information on it, but one of the topics is dying trees. And if you want to understand why our trees are dying, you can come over here and click on these videos. Geoengineering the Dying of the Trees, Roslyn Peterson, as well as the Dying of the Trees, Alan, um, Alan Buckman, yes, Alan Buckman, biologist. He worked for the Department of Fish and Game for 38 years. He speaks about the dying trees and those dying trees being related to the geoengineering that is taking place. And here you have Michael Murphy. So, a lot of good information if you don't know what the chemicals and the heavy metals are doing to our trees. And trees are very, very, very essential to our ecosystem. They clean our air. They give us oxygen. Very, very important. Oh, well. I guess the crazy psychopathic elitist nut jobs, they want all life dead. But chemtrail planet, these are the topics. Patents, chemtrail research, military and government documents, weaponized weather, strange rain and snow, slideshows, photos, stopping rain, um, animal deaths, dying trees, cloud types, declassified documents, Creating floods, detoxing, um, if you want to learn different detox methods, fluoride, Monsanto, Wi-Fi, vaccines, homeopathy, uh, fake food, 
media tricks, normalization, false flags, media control, trolls and chills, and this is a new page, social engineering. All of these topics are very, very important. Social engineering, understanding that we are being deliberately social en socially engineered, you've got to understand the basics of it so that you are not manipulated by these social engineering types out there. Global warming scam, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, whistleblowers, directed energy, uh, gun control, steps toward New World Order. Yes, I have recommended this site often and it's uh, let's just check out social engineering for a second. Here, five of Orwell's worst nightmares have come true. We've been dumbed down by the public education system. We've been indoctrinated by the corporate-owned mass media. We've been socially engineered by Hollywood movies, pop culture music, and TV programming. We've been drugged, brainwashed, and robbed by Big Pharma and the American healthcare racket, we've been tricked into thinking the U.S. is a democracy, not knowing it's a corporate oligarchy. Okay, um, very good information. Step for creating a new world order. The more commonly used programming techniques. Now this social engineering goes deep, so we have to uh, do the work necessary to make sure that we're not manipulated and that we don't inadvertently use that social engineering to shut other people up. Um, that will be another video. Um, we have been indoctrinated with beliefs and myths and we have to do the work necessary, which requires the self-reflection on all of um, your own behaviors and, and your own thought processes and, you know, the presumptions that you make, believing that they're fact when they're not, they're just a presumption. All of this kind of automatically happens in our own brain, the confirmation bias that operates got to do the work to become aware of that confirmation bias um, and we've got to do that reevaluation of all of our beliefs to understand where those beliefs come from are they your belief uh, are they your beliefs or were they just handed to you from childhood those influential adults in your life did you just adopt those beliefs early on and they're still in your brain? Uh, once you begin to do that work, then you can deliberately choose for your own self. Okay, this is what I believe. Instead of going through your entire adult life programmed by somebody else. Okay, so very good sight. Very, very good sight. Chemtrail Planet. Okay, I will link below to everything. Um, Texas storm kills mother, two children as flood sweeps away car. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Upped away south of Dublin, Texas, early before the sun came up. The vehicle became submerged in a creek. The father was found clinging to a tree and was rescued. It did take several hours for responders to locate the rest of his family. Now, there's still a lot of potential for people to be swept away by floodwaters with the amount of rain that's still forecast to come down. Flood problems from the Texas Big Bend will stretch all the way up through northeastern Texas. And emergency responders have been recommending having a life hammer in your car 
glass so you can break the glass and escape because cars can be swept away so fast and the internal systems of vehicles can be shut down so quickly. In other news, there was also, you know, that, did you see the harp rings flash? will stretch all the way up through northeastern Texas, and emergency responders have been recommending having a life hammer in your car so you can break the glass and escape because cars can be swept away so fast and the internal systems of vehicles can be shut down so quickly. And other all right, this is going very fast, but you can see this, um, this is not Mother Nature. Mother Nature works in a circular pattern. She does not work in very defined lines. But uh, right here, the right angle, all of this man-made. All of it man-made. And I'm going to show you some radar captures that I took. But it was, I'm trying to get to that. There was a flash of a Nexrat harp ring. And you can bet that man can bring about a whole lot of destruction with the high frequency heating of the ionosphere, the modulated extremely low frequencies. But yeah, here are concentric harp next ride rings. Here, this is caused by a frequency. Okay, so what else do we have? Here we have a tornado shown. Texas. <laughs> it is! That's a tornado! Oh my God. Call the National Weather Service! Oh my God! <laughs> but what happened to it? So, um, we saw a bit of a tornado, and then it disappears. By the way, look at what we... Are. This is AccuWeather, okay? Photograph, um, photographer captures breathtaking images of rare and elusive weather phenomenon. Wow. Happened twice in the skies over the middle of the country for just a split second and he managed to catch both. Well, I got this from a subscriber. And I asked where this was, and they told me, and I can't remember. I want to say Maryland. We're seeing an awful lot of anomalies taking place. Well, uh, if you understand HARP, if you understand that they have these extremely low frequencies, uh, the high frequencies coming out of our radar stations, satellites that are shooting down powerful frequencies. You might not understand exactly what frequency caused that, but that is essentially what you're looking at. And here are some pictures from another subscriber. Uh, this some pictures come in and video comes in upside down or but you can see all of the pink this is Missouri um, I think it's close to the border of Arkansas well many of you are claiming that you are seeing a lot of pink skies I think our sky is saturated with lithium and uh, other chemicals and heavy metals and lithium is one of the um, substances that they experimented with to create clouds back in the 50s and 60s. And guess what? Those experiments were successful. So uh, anybody looking at our skies today cannot claim if you're of... Um, the older generations, you cannot claim that we saw any of what we are seeing today. But when you see these pictures, it's heartbreaking because you know that everything is being poisoned.
Yeah, well, that doesn't make me very happy. So, yeah, you're going to be getting more severe weather in Texas. Might it be tornadoes, hail, baseball size that ruin, destroy cars, uh, flooding, flooding with people dying, okay? A mother and her two children dead. Weather warfare, everybody should be pissed and outraged. Well, I want to take you to some radar and satellite images. Okay. Now this is what I was seeing in Alabama, Mississippi. These straight lined what appears to be precipitation well this is what I was seeing when they were having those tornadoes that killed and destroyed a lot of homes just recently like maybe two weeks ago so you guys in Texas let me and let all of us know how are you doing now you see radar pulsing away with their high frequency heating you I'm going to link below to these sites and you go on this site at 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock in the morning and you will see some pretty freaky things happening um, here we've got the microwaves in South Carolina. Ah, uh, okay, well this wasn't going just a little while ago. So they have the extremely low frequencies, which are the very long, straight, fanned out lines that you are seeing. This is very dangerous. You see the high, fre um, extremely low frequencies that are being emitted from all of these all of the blue, you see the fanned out, the cutout of the blue or precipitation. We've got a lot of extremely low frequencies happening. And that is not good for our health, for the health of life itself. I have been checking California, extremely low frequencies set off, which seem to be now a standard affair for Southern California. But I'll show you some of California, what was taking place. Um, I'm focusing on Texas right now, so I don't want anybody to feel like I am dissing you. I'm not. But all of these frequencies, my God, the, the southern states have, we've been blasted, blasted in the last several weeks. But let me show you. All right, this was um, April 20th at 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. Look at what's happening here in Texas. Now I'm going to go through this very quickly. Okay? We've got an awful lot. It's like warfare with electromagnetic frequencies. Um, wrong folder. So this was um, this is the same one, Carol. Okay. As I said, my videos are not polished. This was the 20th as well. And this is now 12 hours later. So the first one was 11 a.m. And this is now 
uh, 11.45 p.m. And there's a lot of activity going on all over the country. But Texas, you are clobbered. You know? All right. How about the 21st? Slow computer. All right, this is the 21st at 11.26 and blasting away, man. Wow. So, when you see that, that's not tracking planes. So, they can use these frequencies for yeah, believe it or not, mind control. They can use them to control how people feel. Uh, they can use them for weather modification. There are a lot of different uh, reasons. Applications that they have. Still the frequencies taking place. I hope this will open good. Okay. Um, let's move over. Now, very strange anomalous activity for precipitation taking place in uh, Kansas, Nebraska, a whole lot of frequencies that I've never seen before. Um, up here in the, am I looking at Michigan? Yes these extremely low frequencies, the, this extremely low frequency. Now this is a standard extremely low frequency, uh, no doubt coming out of the military's extremely low frequency transmitter site, but this one shooting into Illinois is very bizarre. But Texas is still uh, lighting up. And isn't it interesting that suddenly you see these uh, pockets of precipitation just appear? Well, remember that video with Michu, whatever his name is, you know, that guy, um, Michu Kraku, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I have digital dementia, but he was talking about lasers. Hey, lasers! Now we can make rain with lasers. Well, what you're seeing are lasers. Shoot a laser into a cloud. And man can make the cloud. Shoot a laser into it, and man can make it rain. There are, it's not just cloud seeding. There are many different methods that they have to, <laughs> yeah, create weather now. So, I did want you to see what's taking place. You guys in Texas, look at this. Louisiana and Texas. But that subscriber was talking about East Texas. And, yeah, you're getting hammered. very strange and bizarre jet stream. You know, you have parts of the precipitation that you see going up north and then, well, are they, were they trying to create another bomb cyclone as it comes down south? 
and wraps around. Looked at the half of the country was lighting up on the 22nd at 2.53 p.m. No, I'm sorry. At, uh, this was a.m. So, where in, but, yeah, <laughs> this was last night. I could not sleep. I felt very strange. I come on this site. Voila. I live right here. All of this activity is taking place. So what is what is this? What are they doing? Extremely low frequencies. The high frequencies from radar, which are millimeter frequencies and microwaves rippling across the coast. And I started to think it could possibly be Uh, the Navy, with their sonic testing off the coast of South Carolina, the microwaves, I don't know. I don't know. But um, what you are looking at is all the warfare that we are now subjected to. The frequencies, the weather. And, yeah, of course, the geoengineering blasting us with dangerous chemicals and heavy metals and biologicals. Come on, let's, let's admit it. We're being hit with biologicals. So, you can always come over to this site if you want to check out, get a, uh, a better idea of what is taking place. This is... College of DuPage radar. Do you see all of the circles of precipitation intersecting with one another off the, uh, I was going to say the periphery, but these circles go, you extend them. It's a perfect circle of high frequency heating of the ionosphere. Um, well, what can happen? You can get very destructive tornadoes with what you were looking at. Now, you can go and do the sub-regional sectors and get a closer picture. Well, that didn't exactly pan out. Um, there and it extends into Louisiana. You can it once you learn how to spot the signatures of the frequencies in play, then you can see them right off the bat. You can see the extremely low frequency right here, and you can see all of the defined lines. This is not Mother Nature. This is a storm created by man. And I you have also right down here all right Carol remember? Ah yes I can do this. Okay. Right here. So you've got one harp, rad, harp next rad ring. This one is intersecting with it. You extend it full out. And within 24, 48 hours, there could be possible tornadoes, which generally uh, manifest in the center of the circle. But there are a whole lot of circles here. So you see this? And it's extremely defined. I mean, so there's no mistaking this for Mother Nature. Now, 
you've got another har next right ring, another one up here, and they're intersecting. So I am so sorry to each and every one of you who have to suffer this. It's not good, but since man can create clouds, use lasers to bring about flooding, well, here I will link to everything. You can check it out. You can check out your area with the world view, with those radar and satellite sites. And this was the 24th, and this is Texas. And you were covered with thick cloud. So does it surprise me that you had flooding, flash flooding? Not at all. Not at all. Here you can see the microwaves in use. Uh, you can go back 23rd and once again, you know, this is where you can see provided to you by NASA. All of these satellite images um, and the microwaves, you can, which are the ripples right here. All of these ripples. We are saturated in frequencies, in chemicals, heavy metals. Our environment has become completely toxic. Everything in our environment. Completely toxic. Isn't that great? Anyway, all links are below. Um, Texans, please let us know what is taking place. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. Bye.